So, you and the girls got back all right? Yeah. How'd you get on with that fellow who ran off on you? It's dealt with. this crap up. Why are we having a war with the goddamn Philippines? Who cares about the Philippines? What even are they? Okay, Mr. Morgan. Just a big load of Harrison. Thank you for all your work. Of course, Mr. Morgan. Good, to drink. Being a bad, dishonest fella, it's gonna send me to drink twice this way. There he is. Hi, Uncle Arthur. Hey there. Mr. Morgan. Hey! Jose? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No, 
I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading, exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go, then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big, loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But well, I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. This is going to be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into... Down. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. We're heading out. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine Stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, oh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy, threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there, came back in the next day, and he woke up and started right back drinking again. <laughs> uh, I miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well... Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. Yeah, good boy. How you doing, friend? All right, boy. Yeah, that's it, boy. Good boy. Stables are just up ahead. Come on. All right. Go sell that big brute and buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey. How can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And what about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show sure, you. Yeah. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. Okay. 
Partner, you got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Looks like a nice animal you got there. You happy? Guess we'll see. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code, and he knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know, but it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long, and you know it. Maybe, but please don't you put that to the test. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. the lake there. Good. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. Where do you think Mike and Lenny got to? Susan sent them out scouting, but I figure they'd be back by now. I have no idea. I hope they weren't picked up. Why she sent Mike? I don't know. He's effective in his own way. And Lenny's got a good head on his shoulders. Yeah, I shouldn't have taken him this long. No, but... No point thinking the worst. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. We'll try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. 
Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes, and obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. Getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Now then, you get us. Head up. Oh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. Oh. <laughs> You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. We better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. <coughs> Morning, Arthur. Ugh. You ready? Well, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting a good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I'll tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains. It's Arthur, I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Okay, I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Back up, Arthur. Arthur, and let's get after him. Okay, let's go. All right, girl. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. 
Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the life? No, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out and staying in. It's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's slip by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. Well, there's some paw marks here, Jose. He sure looked big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. Tracks, go into those trees. Wait a minute. Something on the ground here. Half eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. Something else on the ground, just here. Well, take a look then. There's shit here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's got to be close. Let's keep going. Man, looks like the trail ends here. <laughs> we lost him? For now. A little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up and each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Arthur? Come on, before we lose them all together. Let's just make a call. Let's split up. Okay. I'll head this way. You head down that track.
Everything all right? Arthur? You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. <clears throat> nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Well, you coming? I'm gonna stick around here for a while. <laughs> All right. I'll see you back at camp. Yeah!